Hello, got a lot of questions on how to optimize your immune system. So here's a video on how you can put some certain techniques into action to get your immune system optimized, which is incredibly important right now. What we know about the immune system is that, and especially in relationship to the COVID virus, is that the healthier you are, the less likely you are to get symptoms. Now there's certain people that um, they have chronic disease like high blood pressure, diabetes, or even just obesity, that with those chronic diseases, their immune systems are suppressed. But even people that don't have those diseases are getting sick. In fact, a third of the people getting COVID are under the age of 45, and that's the new statistics by the CDC. So I think everyone really needs to focus in on keeping your immune system healthy. And that's incredibly hard, especially hard now that we're all home, hanging out, and not a lot to do. We're not getting out there, our gyms are closed, and um, we're eating a lot of box packaged food that we bought from to store up from the uh, supermarket. So here's a few tips that I wanna give you, and let's go through each one of these individually. First tip, you gotta exercise every day. I know it's really tempting to stay at home and just play video games and watch Netflix, but this is the time you gotta be exercising. If you're not ever exercised before, now's the time to get into it. So I recommend at least 30 minutes a day of getting your heart rate up. Of course, check with your doctor if you have heart disease before you do this, but at least 30 minutes, you need to keep your circulation going, you need to keep your blood flowing, and that'll keep your immune system healthier for sure. Now, if you aren't good at exercising the full 30 minutes, there are apps out there like the seven minute workout or the 10 minute workout. These are high intensity training apps that give you the benefits of a 30 to 45 minute workout in a more compressed time period. Do that once a day, it's better than nothing, but keep yourself moving. If you have a treadmill at home, that's great. If not, some of these apps will really help. Secondly, sleep is extremely important right now. And if you've ever been wanting to get your sleep in order and try to figure out your sleep, now's the time to do it. Get seven to eight hours of sleep every night and make sure you're getting about 20% of that about in deep sleep. How do you know if you're in deep sleep and you're getting 20% deep sleep? A tracker. So there's lots of great tap trackers out there. I'm using one of my favorites, the Aura Ring. It's a ring that tracks your sleep. There's also pads that go under your mattress, made by Nokia Health, or a company called Bedit, B-E-D-D-I-T, that you can buy on the Apple Store. These are great trackers, and they give you a sleep score every single morning when you wake up. And you can start putting into practice some night, some sleep routine techniques, some. Uh, techniques to get your sleep environment to be more like a cold, dark cave. I'll do another video on sleep later and really get your sleep optimized. Now's the time. Then the next thing you want to do is eat nutrients dense food. So I know we all went to the supermarket and bought a bunch of crap that goes into our pantries that sticks around for a long time just in case this is Armageddon and everyone runs out of food. But that's not the stuff you want to be eating right now. You want to try to get as many. Uh, fruits, vegetables, and, and uh, really good, healthy, nutrient-dense food into you right now. That's what's gonna keep your immune system healthy. You need nutrient-dense food, and what that means is that the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, the, phyto, the phytonutrients, all that um, good stuff in vegetables and fruits are imperative for your immune system to stay incredibly active, which is what we needed to do right now. So eat good, healthy food right now. A plant-based diet is definitely recommended. Going along with that, you want to minimize your alcohol intake. We know for sure that alcohol weakens your immune system. And so, you know, if you're drinking a bottle of wine every night just because we're on, we're on quarantine right now, now's not the time. Really try to cut it back or even eliminate alcohol use. Um, you want to keep your vegetables and nut intake high, like I talked about a little bit earlier, and try to eat a good variety of it. Try to minimize the starchy ones though, and try to eat a lot of leafy greens, but also eat like red bell peppers, um, cucumbers, a lot of different kinds of vegetables. You want a variety, and that's going to give you the variety of nutrients that you need. You also want to make sure you have good protein intake right now. And then the other big thing right now is you want to really cut back on smoking and vaping. Um, I just read an article um, by the American Lung Association saying that smoking we know is associated with COVID and they can infer with that that, um, that also vaping causes COVID to get worse. Now we know COVID is a lung disease. It's a virus that affects mainly your lungs. And the less lung capacity you have, the more likely you are to end up in the ICU or in the emergency room with breathing issues. And that's where COVID can get deadly. So smoking and vaping definitely increases your chance of COVID being deadly and you wanna keep that to a minimum. 
Finally, stress. Stress reduction is huge. We know stress has a lot to do with uh, making your immune system not functional. And how do you reduce stress during this, stressful, during this really stressful time period? Minimize the amount of negative news you're taking in right now. Maybe just watch the news once a day. Don't keep checking it over and over again. Um, secondly, you can do techniques such as meditation. If you've ever thought about getting into meditation, now's the time to do it. Again, lots of great apps out there like Brain FM and other apps that can teach you meditation. And then box breathing. Breathing exercises, having a good breathing practice is imperative to minimize stress levels. And there's a lot of research that shows that if you have a good breathing practice, your stress will be minimized. So try some of those things out. And lots of videos on YouTube teaching how to do all of this. And um, you can quickly self-educate yourself and get yourself into all of these healthy habits. By the way, all these healthy habits that you see on the screen here, this is gonna improve your health overall too. So why not use this time period that we're at home, we don't have you know, a lot going on outside the house to get yourself healthy. These are the ways to do it. So a really important component of our immune system is also our gut. 75% of our immune system lives in our gut. Why? Because a gut is actually the biggest barrier uh, from the outside environment to inside of our bodies. There's more surface area in your gut than all of your skin combined. There's about a tennis court of surface area in your gut. Now, if your gut is not healthy, it's gonna make it more susceptible to take in bad viruses and bacteria, fungi and other things. So you wanna keep your gut as healthy as possible. And now, you know you have good bacteria that live in your gut as well, it's called a micro biome so feeding those good bacteria so they can um, crowd out the bad bacteria and viruses is really important how do you do this prebiotics and probiotics prebiotics are basically fibers you want to make sure that you're getting a lot of fiber in your diet and if you're not getting enough fiber a fiber supplement is, is really good you want to get something that you can take every morning um, fermented foods are great for your uh, bacteria as well so taking in more fermented foods in your diet is going to help um, also, keeping the amount of processed food, sugars, and alcohol down to a minimum. All those things will improve your gut health. Super important and critical right now. Let's talk about supplements. Everyone's asking me, what supplement should I take in order to keep my immune system healthy? Now, in general, supplements, I believe, are useful after you do some testing and you make sure that you actually are deficient in these micronutrients. But at this point in time, when your immune system can get quickly overwhelmed, they need kind of the precursors and they need the vitamins and minerals to keep, to keep functioning as, as a highly functional immune system. So now's the time to maybe take some supplements if you've never taken any before. Vitamin A, B, C, D, and E, all of these uh, vitamins have different functions in our immune system. I won't go over each and every one individually. You can read it here, pause and read it here if you want to, but having a higher intake of all of these right now is, is critical. There's also herbs and other food products that you can take that have been shown to help your immune system. Garlic is a really potent um, immune cell booster. So are um, things like elderberry, astragalus, probiotics to help your gut, um, glutathione, and even mushroom blends such as uh, cordyceps shaga. Some of these things if you've never tried them before, do a little bit of research, try to keep them, get them into your diet. There's a lot on that slide, so what I normally tell people is try to find a blend that's already made by a good supplement company that has all of this in it, or a lot of this in it. And these, some of these companies here are reputable, um, all of the companies on here are reputable supplement manufacturers, but not all the companies out there are. So don't just go on Amazon and start buying supplements um, based on that list. What's better is if you look for some of these brands, these are the brands that I use, and these are brands that I know that have been vetted, they sell to doctor's offices, these are good brands. Search these brands and search immune boosting and put those together on Amazon and you'll see a lot of these brands have a good mix of some of the things I told you about put together, pre-made for you so you can start um, taking them. Four Sigmatic is a great brand of mushroom um, uh, blends as well to help your immune system. If you really want to do some research on supplements, uh, there's a couple of websites called labdoor.com, GMP, consumerlab.com that rate different supplements. Uh, they rate supplements that are out there in the general public and general market. There are thousands of supplement manufacturers, but if you stick to this list, you'll be doing pretty well. So. That's all I have to say right now on improving your immune system. There's, of course, I can go into each and every one of these more in depth than I will in subsequent videos. If you have any questions, feel free to direct message me or put them in the comments here. I look forward to seeing you again on another video.